You know, the funny thing is, for the last 10 years that we have been researching Abimo Harris, this bank has been kicking ass like crazy. They've been innovating. They've been uh, offering a lot of great services. So in today's conversation, I really want to talk to you about their loans. And they have great personal loans that you may qualify for, even if, even if you have a uh, bad personal credit. Okay, so here are the facts that I really want you to pay attention to. So when you think about BMO personal loans, maximum you can get here is $35,000, which is not a bad thing. I mean, a lot of other banks will give you like a 50K or $100,000, but BMO is kind of conservative here. So they will give you $35,000. So the Delta is $2,000 to $35,000. Minimum FICO, 575. So if you have a strong multi-product relationship with uh, BMO, you will you will really stand a chance of having a, a higher limits, okay? So you can use a, a BMO personal loan for debt consolidation, home improvement, renovation, re or for like relocation, and even more. What we love about BMO is that they're very flexible. The bank is really flexible. They will actually work, will work with you. The only problem that we have is that it's not a problem. It's just uh, a, a restriction that BMO is uh, geo-restricted, okay? They are based actually in Chicago and they basically, they have a major presence in the Midwest. So if you are not in the geography that BMO actually covers, you're not going to qualify, okay? But overall, this is kind of cool. We we'll love the fact that uh, you can use the, the loan for a lot of things. Okay, by the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here to have a quick convo with you about BMO Harris. And we are particularly talking about the, the bank's personal loans. Again, so two thousand all the way to thirty five hundred dollars, thirty five thousand. So two thousand to thirty five thousand. In some states, they will start you at fifteen hundred. Okay, and but that's that's really good. And the thing is that uh, the in terms of the tenor, the repayment window, you are looking at twelve to seventy two months. So that's one year, all the way to six years. And this is gonna you can apply for this loan online or at the branch, but preferably. BMO will love you to uh, go to a branch and have a conversation with a loan rep so that so you can have all your answers uh, all your questions uh, answered before you apply for the loan for real. Okay, so this is kind of important to really think about that. And one thing I also want to say here is that when you think about BMO Harris, I want you to think about about, about a bank that is constantly innovating. Fantastic. So I gave you the facts about the BMO Harris personal loans. I want now I want to give you the pros and cons so you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into if you were to apply for a BMO Harris personal loan. What about the pros? You have a wide range of repayment periods. Think about it. 12 months all the way to 72 months. This is really good. This gives you flexibility. This adds flexibility to your budgetary, uh, you know, I would say budgetary goals. You have low borrowing amounts that are available, 1500 to 2000 fantastic you have no prepayment penalties and you have rate discounts available if you have a, a bmo checking account so you and you have auto pay and there are and we'll also love the fact that there are there is no origination fee this is kind of cool and uh, you have a credit builder loan program available so bmo allows you to actually build credit if you want if you are on the let's say you you are in the subprime category and you want to build credit bmo will work with you what about the cons here and uh, if you want to have a, if you want to have the lowest interest rates for this personal loan, you need to have a, a very high FICO score, which is which makes sense anyway. I mean, BMO is not the only one; it's not the only bank requiring you to have a high FICO score <laughs> to have a, a low APR, right? And uh, now there might be some application fee applying depending on the state you're applying from, and uh, online application may not be available in your state. And so, as I said before, BMO will prefer you to actually go to a branch, have a conversation with a loan rep before applying. And uh, rate quotes are only available in eight states. This goes, this actually harks back to what I said about the geo restriction nature of uh, a BMO Harris loan, credit card, or line of credit. Okay. So, bottom line here is that if you are lucky to be in one of the eight states that uh, BMO Harris covers, then you're really good to go. If not, you're going to have to actually. Um, apply at another lender. You can, you can try PNC, you could try Truist, you can try US Bank, you can try Key Bank, you can try uh, Fifth Third. It really depends on you. But the cool thing, one thing I want to remember here is that when it comes to uh, BMO Harris and uh, the uh, the personal loan, the personal loan is very flexible. BMO is not asking you, it's not restricting the use of loan proceeds. You can, you can, uh, you can use the loan proceeds for a lot of things. Not a problem with uh, BMO.
let's quickly talk about suitability here. So who is the BMO Harris loan good for? And uh, so BMO Harris may be good for you if you already have a BMO Harris uh, business relationship or personal relationship, going back to what I said about the, having an NPR, right? So having an NPR, NPR means multi-product relationship. It means that you just have, are having uh, multiple relationships with multiple products, that is multiple products, multiple checking and savings products from uh, BMO Harris. So you are building a strong relationship with the bank. And so the thing is that if you regularly visit a BMO Harris branch, you will love this personal loan product because it's just a lot better, as I said before, to apply at a branch. And you may be able to apply for a personal loan while you are already at the bank for other businesses. And uh, you also at, will be at an, an advantage since you, you will need a BMO checking account to get the auto pay rate discount. So you can see that there, there are a lot of uh, perks to having an existing BMO relationship before applying. By the way, boss, let me quickly remind you of today's topic. I'm explaining to you BMO Harris Bank personal loans. I'm giving you a guide, a tutorial, so you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into if you want to apply for a BMO Harris Bank personal loan. And what we love also is that if you are, let's say you are looking for a credit builder loan, you will love the fact that BMO Harris does have a credit builder loan. That's a great option for you. If you are working on improving your credit score, you may be able to use the bank's credit builder loan program to increase your score to make sure your, your score is high enough to qualify for a personal loan in the future. And this loan doesn't have a minimum credit score to qualify. Okay. So boss, big decision time. What is your FICO score situation right now? Do you have a good credit score? Do you have a, a less than good credit score? Where are you on the bandwidth, on the FICO bandwidth? 300, 400, 500, where are you? Talk to me. Because your situation, your credit score, your current credit score will determine whether or not you should go for a BMO Harris personal loan, just a regular loan, or a BMO Harris credit builder loan. Okay. Now, of course, you got to be in the in the geography that BMO Harris covers to be able to qualify for either loan products anyway. So you got to ask yourself, okay, and really the question here is that are you in a situation to sort of uh, pledge a little bit of money to sort of go into the credit builder loan program? Because the credit for the credit builder loan program, you are basically paying something back to to uh, BMO Harris without receiving anything in return. Like the, the money is sent, it's uh, it's given to you at the end of the repayment window. Let me give you a little more details about BMO Harris Bank personal loan. And but before I, I even speak about that, I want to talk about BMO Harris the institution itself. It's really important to understand that BMO Harris is not a national bank. I've said this before. In our view, BMO is, BMO is more like a tier two, tier three type of bank. I think tier three, because tier one, when it comes to banks in the United States, you have uh, Chase, you have uh, Wells Fargo, you have Bank of America, and then you have Citi. And tier two, we are looking at the uh, Key Bank, US Bank, Fifth Third, for instance, we have a uh, PNC, okay? And uh, for tier three, we're looking at maybe BMO, and TD Ameritrade and maybe Capital One. So those are this is the kind of tier we have. And BMO is actually available uh, in uh, in uh, Arizona, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, and Wisconsin. So those are the eight states where BMO is currently present. Again, I want to uh, remind you. I want to say the name again. You, you have Arizona, you have Florida, you have Illinois, you have Indiana, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, and Wisconsin. So again, it's more like in the Midwest. And it has about 500 branches. So if you are going to apply for a personal loan at a BMO branch, it's better that you are closer to a, a uh, to a bank branch, so you have a clear idea. So you, you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into. And the bank actually offers a full range of personal banking products, including checking accounts, savings accounts, certificates of deposits. You have mortgages. You have retirement accounts. This is kind of cool. And uh, the bank also offers uh, personal loans at fixed interest rates. And the cool thing is, yet is that if you go to a branch, you can actually uh, get the loan approved real fast. Okay, and uh, so if you're thinking about a loan application through BMO, please forget about the online application because uh, the bank does not offer that. Again, they want you to come to a branch, so they'll ask you questions to know more about the, the details about the, your application before you know before approving you or deny, denying you. It really depends on your on your situation, and it depends on the use of loan proceeds that you have stated during the, uh, the application interview.
And the one thing I want to say here is that, you know, I spoke to you earlier about the credit builder loan, loan program. This is kind of cool. And uh, but when you think about the when you think about Bimo Harris, personal loan, again, here we are going granular here. I'm giving you more details. Like it's one of those things you got to ask yourself, how much you want to borrow? Do you want to borrow between fifteen hundred dollars and thirty five thousand dollars? OK, that's the delta that uh, Bimo is giving you. If you want anything above that delta, then you have to go for for another lender, maybe uh, maybe a choice, you know, maybe uh, maybe uh, SoFi. You can try, you know, so you have to try other lenders out there. And you also have to think about the fact that you have a repayment window that is like six, six years, six years maximum, maximum. If you want anything above that, you have to look for another lender. OK. And but hey, listen, the thing here is that you are able to you are able to uh, get discounts. You can get auto pay discounts. This is kind of cool. So 0.5 percent, this really adds up. So if you are able to get a loan from Bimo Harris, please avail yourself of that auto pay discounts because you're saving, you will save, you, you might be thinking, well, you know, it's only 0.5%. It's nothing. Oh boy, boy, boy. It's really something because you know why 0.5% that's the, on a monthly basis over six years that this can really add up, especially if you get the $35,000 in, in the personal loan that I'm just talking to you about. It's a lot of cash boss. It's a lot of cash. So you really want to make sure that you avail yourself of that uh, little percentage. It doesn't matter. Everything counts. Everything counts. By the way, boss, I want to quickly talk to you again about the, the, today's topic. We are having a conversation about BMO Harris Bank personal loans, and I'm actually giving you a quick uh, tutorial slash review of uh, this uh, credit offer. So you have a clear idea what you're getting yourself into if you are looking for those products. OK, and uh, the thing is that with the uh, BMO Harris, you have the option to receive loan money by check. This is kind of cool because once they approve, what will happen here is that if you go to a branch, let's say you, let's say you went to a branch to, in Chicago, right? And basically they approved you. Basically they will give you the cash uh, hmm, within 12 to 24 hours. We have seen people who actually got approved and they got the funds within within four hours. And you know what happens? Because they, approved, they applied at the branch and the same branch that approved them, the same branch actually wired the cash right away. I mean, you are already sitting there, like you're sitting at the branch and you, you just got the news that you got approved. So it's the same is that the, the branch has the money, you know, they just uh, wire the funds to your account right away. So you you have fundings in a few days, like two to three days with the BMO, things can be very, really fast. As I just said, you can get the cash same day. It really depends on your luck. It depends on also on the availability, uh, like on the backlog that the branch, that specific branch where you apply at, is uh, handling now, like if the backlog is fuel if the backlog is full then uh yeah you might actually uh, wait a little bit but if not hey listen you can access your your cash right away So let's talk about the application boss okay let's talk about how do you how do you really apply i mean i've already told you that the uh, the FICO score here is a 575 with npr if you have a multi if you have a relationship with uh Bimo harris which you should anyway if you have an existing one and a, a, and a strong one you can actually uh, get qualify for this loan with no problem now in terms of uh the uh, the requirements themselves you need to understand that your odds of approval will be depending on the, will actually depend on your credit score and financial situation right so how much are you making boss talk to me about your salary and again are we speaking about full-time salary part-time salary gig work what kind of revenue are you pulling boss talk to me about that and what is your FICO score so those are elements i want you to really have a clear idea about so you know how much you could qualify for potentially remember that bmo will actually ask they will request a contact number you, you need to actually uh, so once you actually get the, you get you you uh, give them a, your phone number you need to make an appointment you need to visit a branch or you know even better you want to call this number I'm, we're going to put this on the on the screen right now it's a 1-800 not 1-800 1-888-340-2265 again the number here is a one 340 two two six five so that's the number that you can actually call if you feel like you know what you are really too far from a branch or you want to drive or toward that branch you can maybe see if you if maybe they could qualify you over the phone okay and uh so the, the cool thing is that um uh, there are uh, there are no fees with uh, this loan the only fee you, you might have to pay is a one-time application fee of 75 dollars. that's it but once you approve your cash is dispersed real fast i think i just said that within one to two two business days this is really fantastic
And uh, also, th there is an option. There's there's something called uh, the Express Payment BMO Harris checking account. So this is a, an account that you may have if you are, let's say, if you are trying to get a, uh, if you want to maybe qualify for the auto pay, but you also want to make sure that you get your cash real fast, your loan proceeds real fast, so you can have, you can open an express, an express payment. BMO Harris checking account so that you get your cash real fast. One thing I want to say just to close on this uh, on this section is that you need to understand BMO is a relationship bank first and foremost. In other words, BMO is in, is in business to build relationships. If you are able to build relationships with the bank, they will work with you. The bank will work with you to make sure that your needs are taken care of. And I'm talking about not only personal needs, but also business needs. So when you need them, they'll be there for you. But you got to be there for them in the first place too, okay? Meaning, how can you be there for the bank? Well, for example, you can actually have a direct deposit coming into your into your, um, into your BMO, BMO account, trying to have savings account for you, for your family members, for your children and whatnot. So you want to show BMO that you are there for the bank so they can remember you at the right time too. So it has to be a give-give or win-win situation, if you will. They are important. Let me give you a few pro tips here so how do you get approved for a bimo harris bank personal loan again we have established the fact that you are looking at two thousand dollars or to all the way to thirty five thousand dollars not a big delta but hey listen it is something thirty five thousand you could do a lot a lot of stuff with that in this day and age in this economy here with, with the banks closing here and there with uh with the companies filing for bankruptcy with the federal government actually uh you know actually uh, stepping in to take care of uh, failed banks with the stock market going up and down thirty five thousand dollars in this day and age boss is it's money it is something and uh, so you can do a lot with that so if you want to be approved make sure that you have the proper you have proper paperwork that that is that is replete with uh, things like your name your address date of birth proof of uh, identity such as driver's license for instance your social security number your annual income so here we are speaking about proof of income such as bank statements or pay stubs the cool thing is if you already have an account with uh with uh Bimo harris and uh they're having direct deposit into their account they already have an, an idea about your uh, your pay your pay level okay the compensation and also make sure that you are ready to verify unemployment not unemployment to verify employment so we have em employment verification okay and if you want to actually increase your chances of approval with uh with with bimo just make sure that you are boosting your credit score first okay make sure that your FICO score is really as high as possible so credit scores that are that are like a uh, 700 700 not dollars 700 or above are considered like a uh, pretty good i mean bimo will accept you if you have 575 but hey listen don't just settle for 575 right that'll be really dumb don't go for 575 you want to go for something higher and so you want to pay attention to two things if you are trying to boost your credit your credit score you want to pay attention to your credit to your payment history and also to your cur so your payment history will actually accounts for 35 percent of your credit score as we all know and then you have the the, the other 30 percent that accounts for your credit score that's your cur your credit utilization ratio so you can see there you know those two elements are kind of cool because if you were to just you know forget about the rest right for the rest being your uh the the uh, recency of your credit you want to think about the diversity of uh, your credit but also uh, if there are like how many how many hard inquiries you got but the, the first two are your uh, cur and um your payment history You also want to reduce your debt, debt to income ratio if you are trying to really boost your if you want to boost your credit you know you want to really reduce your you want to reduce that a lot because this will help you actually get uh, as high as as high an amount as possible through bimo harris the bottom line here is that the bank actually pays attention to how you are let's say how you you are behaving financially speaking because the bank actually looks at things like your income your liabilities your monthly budget and they can see all these things if you are if you have a an account with them they can see the, the expenses if you have a credit card with them they can see also the expenses that you have so it's all about making sure again that you live a financially responsible life 
that actually will actually lead to a lower DTR because see if you have a low DTR this is kind of cool because you are actually reflecting to Bimo Harris that you are basically uh, financially responsible you are monetarily responsible you have a DTI a low DTI meaning a low debt to income ratio normally you want to be around 30% or less and the lower the better when it comes to DTI or CUR for that matter the lower the better so we if you if we are around 30 to 35 percent you are good to go i want to talk to you about the rivals here so how does uh, a personal loan from bimo compare to other players well bimo is not uh, the only player so you have sofi you have wells fargo what we love about bimo is that uh it, it's very clear in terms of fees it doesn't charge you a lot of fees here and uh you also have the ability to know exactly how much you how much you're getting but compared to SoFi and West Fargo, BMO is not really that competitive in terms of generosity because SoFi can, can actually uh, approve you all the way to $100,000. Same thing for West Fargo. Okay, this is kind of cool. And uh, the thing is that uh, SoFi will go out from 50 grand, 50 grand to $100,000. West Fargo, $100,000. But SoFi, the good thing is SoFi is an online bank, meaning what? You can qualify for, well, you can qualify for a loan no matter no matter where you are at same thing for west fargo which is a quasi national bank with branches in uh, nearly every uh, state in the country so this is kind of cool in other words here we are actually widening the the net here we are we are casting a wider net in terms of geography so you're not you're you are no longer limited to all the to uh, the only eight states where bimo harris is present you actually have a, a better chance a bigger chance of being approved for a larger loan amounts also at a higher probability rate so this is kind of cool to really look at things from that perspective so our foreign inverted our final our final verdict what am i speaking about here <laughs> our final verdict here is that bimo harris is a solid choice of lender for most people who need a personal loan and who happen to be in the geography the very geography that G that bimo actually covers okay and uh, bimo doesn't offer a large loan though so if you're looking for anything above 35 grand you're not going to be happy with bimo but if you are looking for something decent within uh, two thousand all the way to thirty five thousand dollars bimo could be your uh your bank Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. God bless you. I just want to quickly recap of whatever we spoke about. I gave you the fact about the BMO Harris personal loan, the pros and cons, the suitability, the details, the application, the pro tips, the rivals, so on and so forth. Fantastic. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.